such as Let's Never Break Up Again. Our next guest may not be rich, but his name does sound like a cash register. Please welcome Ken Cheng! <laughs> So, your radio show is titled Chinese Comedian. That's right. Is that allowed? <laughs> That's the first time anyone has ever actually asked that question to me. Oh, really? And that is the problem with the system. <laughs> <laughs> if you're confident, no one questions you. Yeah. Um, you dropped out of Cambridge. That's right. Were you too thick or were they? <laughs> A mix of both. I was too thick in the double C way. Just thick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the two C's stand for Chinese comedian. <laughs> so let's have a look at your lecture title. It is Networking for Success. So is the only reason you agreed tonight to kind of like further your career? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought we were friends. Um, your lecture was originally given by Teresa Rayum, a businesswoman working in client relations. I can't wait to hear yours, Ken. Please give it up for Ken Chung. <laughs> Networking is not as simple as it seems. Let me start by telling you a story. I was at a networking event and two different people approached me. Networker A had a compelling story. He had been teaching underprivileged kids in Southeast Asia and also developed his own app for detecting tsunamis. Networker B, meanwhile, was incredibly rude and very drunk. When I asked him about his past experience, he told me about a time he did acid. <laughs> he was also wearing a white T-shirt with a giant bolognese stain in the center. <laughs> Who did I end up hiring? That's right, Networker B. Why? Because he had famous parents. <laughs> Make sure you have famous parents. <laughs> if they're not famous, try and make them famous in any way you can. <laughs> like, frame them for murder. <laughs> All publicity is good publicity. <laughs> you can also try to get adopted by a famous person. For example, I've been sending emails to Angelina Jolie asking her... <laughs> Asking her to adopt me for years. <laughs> so, what is networking really about? The business world is a competitive world and networking is a surefire way to get the job you want even though you are hideously underqualified. <laughs> Many see networking as a cynical endeavour, but it's ultimately about making friends. Friends you can use to further your own career and then dispose of once they're not useful anymore. <laughs> A lot of people think networking is simply schmoozing, and they're right. <laughs> but as the old saying goes, it's not what you schmooze, but who you schmooze. <laughs> Target the right people. Make sure to pick someone who can actually help you. For example, I once spent a whole evening telling someone about my strengths and weaknesses before I realised I was talking to a hologram in King's Cross Station. <laughs> a waste of an evening, and I missed my last train. <laughs> You've got to do your research. Find out everything you can on your target by any means necessary and by any means unnecessary too. This includes Facebook stalking, hiring a private investigator to go through their bins, <laughs> paying a child actor to befriend their child at school and using that child actor to go through their bins. <laughs> when it comes to actual conversation, don't be afraid to exaggerate what you've achieved to make yourself look better. Some people call this lying, as do I. You should lie. <laughs> Flat out lie. We all tell white lies here and there. Lies like, your hair looks nice. And that's no different from saying, I'm first aid trained. <laughs> Both are simply said to make the other person feel better. <laughs> the corporate world is tough and everyone lies. If you tell the truth, people will merely assume you're lying and mentally adjust downwards automatically. That's why I say on my CV that I have 33 GCSEs. <laughs> Obviously, that's a lie. I actually have 31. <laughs> Finally, it's time to talk about the networker's greatest weapon, LinkedIn. I'm prolific on LinkedIn. The trick is to make sure your profile stands out.
that's my real profile, by the way. <laughs> LinkedIn is by far the best form of social media. Picture the scene. You post the hot pic of yourself on Instagram. An employer at a Fortune 500 company sees the pic and considers hiring you, but doesn't know your employment history. You miss out on a 100K salary. That's why I post all my thirst traps to LinkedIn with the caption, <laughs> ready to be a total work slut. <laughs> A very powerful tool on LinkedIn is the recommendation system. You can write recommendations for anyone, but it's easy to get this wrong. Let's look at an example. Tristan is amazing at the coding language of Python. In fact, he is so passionate about Python that he regularly dresses up in a Python suit made of Python skin, then wriggles around the ground for hours, hissing at his coworkers. <laughs> he is a total snake, in and out of the bedroom. He will betray you, a total spineless creep. Hire this man if you want a Python expert. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. This is an example of a perfect recommendation. It's bold, it's eye-catching, and it was so effective that Tristan actually deleted his LinkedIn after receiving it. <laughs> or at least I couldn't see his profile anymore. <laughs> Sometimes it can be frustrating when you recommend someone, but they don't recommend you back. I call that getting LinkedIn blue-balled. <laughs> Luckily, LinkedIn has a great function called request a recommendation. However, the stock message is quite generic. Hi, James. Could you write me a recommendation? No worries if not. Boring. Here's a way to spice up. Hi, James. My family have been kidnapped. <laughs> the sicko who did this has made only one demand. <laughs> that I get to 500 recommendations before midnight, or I won't see my family again. <laughs> No worries if not. <laughs> the last thing I'll say about networking is that we're always networking. In fact, I've been networking all of you all this time. I've been slipping in subliminal messages to get you to react the way I want to achieve my goal. And hopefully, after today, at least one person in the audience will want to adopt me as their Asian child. <laughs> <laughs> My parents are in jail for murder. <laughs> that was so funny. I wanted to know, what is the biggest lie that you've ever told? Um, that I'm not lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> How did that come up? <laughs> I often, people say, any dietary requirements? And I'll say no. Oh, really? <laughs> Just to uh, seem cooler. <laughs> <laughs> if only there were more people like you <laughs> in the world. <laughs> I'm going to ask your fellow lecturers, what did you make of that? Genuinely, I, I really loved it. I love the phrase LinkedIn blue board. <laughs> 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 Proper business speak. <laughs> Would you adopt Ken? Yeah, definitely. I can't stand my own kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, both of us would be... I'd be oh, more than happy. You might have gained a pair of dads. <laughs> it was an absolutely brilliant lecture. Will you please give it up for the incredible Ken Chen!